Hey, YTPC, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Uh, I'm going to open this tin. So I've been uh, doing a little bit of reading and watching a few videos on YouTube. And uh, apparently this uh, this particular tobacco is uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty contentious, I guess, or notorious um, for different reasons. But... Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read to you. I know I've done that before and uh I don't wanna put you guys through that, but just go to go to tobacco reviews uh dot com and and look up uh Sam Gala seventeen ninety two flake and just just read just read about it. It's it's pretty crazy uh how they make this stuff and um you learn you, it references a thing called a Tonquin bean or a Tonka bean. Uh, which I've seen it also called after doing some Googling and apparently it's a sort of a, a legume harvested in like central and South America that, uh, has a lot of, uh, sort of vanilla overtones. I think it's used as a bit of a, a like a substitute for vanilla because authentic vanilla is obviously very expensive and probably not as common. Um, but I'd never, I'd never heard of that before. So I just thought it was fairly intriguing. And apparently this, this particular tobacco is a bit of a, uh, a bit of a nicotine bomb as well. So in the videos I saw, I was like, you know, not for the faint of heart, not for beginning smokers, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, all right, I got to see what this stuff's about. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a quick tin opening here and, um, and just show you guys the, uh, the flake. And I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go smoke some in my garage. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just getting a, uh, getting a tin impression here real quick. Sure, I'm getting focused in this spot here too. Yeah, I just watched uh, Wharf Valley Boy's video on this. He did about a year ago, and uh, his first impression was like the uh, sort of Christmas, Christmas fruit spice cake uh, sort of thing going on, and I, I definitely. Uh, see where he was coming from with that for sure. A little bit of light on that so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'll pull a, uh, I'll pull a flake out. Or a couple of flakes and just uh, kind of get that in the light. There you go. Nice detailed shot. It's a pretty, uh, pretty rough pretty rough cut here but you can kind of see the uh the different makeup there this is virginia virginia and kentucky and again you know what they do to this to actually process it is, is pretty fascinating just the uh just the uh the, the description of, of everything they do to to end up making this stuff so uh yeah again go read about that um and i'm definitely just yeah, I think I'm, I'm think I'm definitely getting a little bit of clove in there too, for sure. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go sit some of this out and uh, get a pipe ready. Hey guys, so um, I think I didn't mention too. Apparently, this stuff can uh, can ghost the heck out of a pipe, so. Went ahead and played it safe and went to my, uh, my country gentleman. I set out one flake for about 10 minutes. Just did the, uh, just did the, uh, palm rub to break it up and got it stuffed in here. Pretty, pretty rough and ready, sort of, um, quick and dirty. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I packed it in there pretty good.
I honestly could even get one flake in here. Um, so I'd pull a bit of uh, excess back into the tin. I've smoked about half of this bowl, maybe a little bit less. Just because I'm trying to, kind of trying to figure out what it's doing. Because the general consensus was that this stuff kind of hits you over the head with flavor. And that Tonquin uh, bean, that sort of vanilla flavor is, is, is very pronounced. And I'm just not getting that. I mean, say more than anything, I'm getting the base Virginia and the sort of, you know, mustiness and depth of the, uh, the Kentucky, the dark fired sort of, sort of there in the background for sure. You saw how dark the flake was. I mean, this stuff is, this stuff is, uh, you know, it's dark. It's just, just the, the hot pressed, you know, style with the steam and everything. So, so yeah, but the main thing I'm mainly getting again is that, that, Virginia up front, a little bit of background of the dark fire, the mustiness, and then honestly kind of clove, but uh, from a vanilla fruit, it's not really coming through very much. Honestly, what I'm thinking is that this tin is fairly new. I'm kind of thinking that because it wasn't uh, available on Boswell for quite a while. I don't think I've really seen it on too many sites. I haven't honestly actively been looking, but this is definitely the first time I saw it on Boswell. So thinking it's probably new stock um, and recently packed tin. So yeah. And I'm pretty sure... Um, Again, I said I watched uh, War Valley Boy's uh, review of this, which was about a year ago, and at the time he smoked it, it was about 10 months old, and he said it could probably even stand to, 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 to be cellared for a little bit longer, so. I think that's what I'm experiencing, because again, not getting a ton of flavor um, from a sort of aromatic experience POV. And they said it's, you know, again, they say it's very, it's a very pronounced thing with this blend. And I'm not really getting it. Again, I am getting over a head cold. My, my smell is definitely coming back for sure, but I don't, definitely don't think I'm at 100%. So probably not the best time to be trying out a new blend. So, you know. The retro is mostly smooth. A little bit of pepper on the nose for sure. And as far as the uh, prevalence of the nicotine, which is again another thing this blend is apparently notorious for. I'm a bad judge of that because I was a cigarette smoker for 15 years. So uh, I don't know how long you're sort of resistance to the effects of nicotine stick around i, I can't imagine that should be uh, something that lasts very long but it's i guess potentially it's a sensation that i'm used to even though i haven't smoked cigarettes in probably eight or nine years now but uh yeah i mean i don't feel woozy or anything like people are li li literally saying don't smoke this in the morning you know or whatever but yeah i don't know i'm i'm, I'm feeling okay So yeah, I uh, definitely agree with the sentiments. This is not an all day smoke. It's not a, uh, it's not something I'm going to smoke on a regular basis. Uh, this is going to be one of those blends that I'm going to let sit around for a while and, uh, and revisit and, and see how it's developed and changed 
over time as it's had a chance to age a little bit more because I'm, again, I'm fairly positive I'm dealing with a new 10 here. But I can see the potential for sure. I can taste the potential. It's there. I just think it probably needs to stew a little bit longer and uh, improve a little bit longer. I'm supposed to get some snow tomorrow. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. But they're saying maybe four inches, but still, you know, annoying. You know, you have to do some shoveling and that whole deal. So that's never fun. It's good exercise, but yeah, I'd rather exercise on my own terms. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get off of here and uh, polish off this bowl. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening.